All right, so welcome everyone. I am Rajneesh Gupta, and with me I have Jamin Patak. This is the mock interview series, and uh, the process. I think you are aware about it. Jamin will be the interviewer, and I'll be the candidate. He will ask me certain question. I'll answer him, and he might ask some counter questions as well. Okay. Now, before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe the channel if you are. an existing subscriber make sure you press the bell icon so that you get notified immediately okay uh now without taking much time let's get started hi jamin how are you i'm good rajnish thank you how are you good 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 so let's get started so my sure. question is on stateful inspection okay. what is a stateful inspection and how it is different from stateless firewalls um well a uh, stateful inspection is a is a firewall which uh, maintain the state of traffic okay um okay let me let me tell you in this way let's say if we have a stateful firewall okay and if any packet pass through the stateful firewall then uh, it maintain a connection table and in the connection table it it uh, it may it create an entry that this packet pass uh, pass from this uh, uh, trusted zone to untrusted zone for example uh, now when the return traffic comes back okay as a part of its three way handshake tcp three way handshake maybe since inac and ac so in that case uh it will first firewall will first check if it is a response to the existing session existing tcp three way handshake session or is it entirely a new one if it is a response to the existing session it will be allowed else it will be discarded unless we have a strict rule defined to allow that traffic which happen in case of dmz kind of a setup okay now this is the stateful firewall it can even do much more stuff because of this it can even do the deep packet inspection as well now when we say uh, when we talk about the stateless firewall uh, it, it it never maintain any connection table okay it treat every packet individually so yeah so if we if we look at most of the next generation firewall they are all they are all stateful firewalls so yeah okay great so my next question is uh, do you have experience on hands on experience on cisco router yeah i i worked with cisco router and setting up the router uh, configuring you know doing the startup configuration creating the access list routes um, you know all those stuff so yeah i i worked with it okay So in the Cisco routers we have access list, and uh, is it state list, state list or stateful? Well, yes. Uh, so uh, in case of router, the access list is stateless. Uh, access mm -hmm. list don't maintain any uh, state of the packet. So by the the I'm talking about the default access list. Okay. Um, so default access list maybe it's extended or standard access list. Uh, in case of cisco both are stateless so it never maintain any connection table on to the router yeah okay got it so when would you recommend using state stateful firewall over the state less firewall and even inversely uh well i mean um, you know uh, as uh, as we can even uh you know imagine because stateful firewall maintain the state maintain the session and uh, you know it keeps in keep track of all the entries about tcp different flags sin flag uh, acknowledgement finish and all those stuff so because of this every packet consumes some amount of uh, you know some amount of uh, additional resources on to the firewall correct so okay. it, it is good in in a scenario when we want to have a complete granular control 
onto the system. We want to perform deeper inspection, but it takes a lot of resources. So that's that's the reason. In case let's say if we have we want a high speed traffic communication, uh, and uh, you know we need the high speed transfer of a data or maybe low latency transfer of a data. In those situations, it's better to use stateless firewall. Else in uh, in most of the situation, we use stateful firewall only. So yeah. Okay, got it. Yep. yep. So this is all I have for today. All right. So thank you so much, Jamin. Uh, now it's time mm -hmm. for uh, for our detailed explanation. Um, let me share my screen, guys. Okay. All right. So I just shared my screen. Now, as you can see, what I was trying to explain is, if you look at the uh, firewall, okay, this is firewall and this is our router, okay, and this is our firewall. Now, whenever, uh, let's say, a packet comes to a firewall and let's say, try to reach to the internet, this is the internet and this is your corporate network where we have multiple users, okay. Let's say the firewall uh, user want to access the internet, okay. And in those situation, let's say it is trust, and this is untrust. I'm talking about zone or the interface from the firewall point of view. So whenever this happen, the firewall create an entry into the connection table that a packet uh, move from this to this I with this IP address from so this zone to this zone and it has been allowed okay now uh, when the return traffic comes in it will check if the there is an existing session if there is an existing tcp session uh, in the firewall or in the connection table or not if it is present it will be allowed if not it will be dropped immediately if there is no connection table exist then the packet will be immediately dropped unless there is a strict rule defined to allow that traffic okay that's the only situation but it again depend of depends on couple of more situation what kind of a packet it is what flag it is so that that's possible when you talk about the router in router we create simply an access list to allow our blocker traffic and now in this case every packet is different because we don't have any connection table in case of uh, far, uh, in case of router, we don't maintain any connection table. So every packet is treated individually. This will be, even if you want to allow certain traffic from the internet to inside, you have to have a strict rule for it. In this case, you don't have to, you know, define those rules. It will be taken care by the stateful inspection itself. That's why this router is, router comes under the stateless inspection. And firewall comes under the uh, com comes under the stateful inspection. So currently, whatever firewall you see in the enterprise in the branch office, they are all uh, for they all fall under the stateful inspection. Maybe you talk about the next generation firewall like Palo Alto, Palo Alto firewall, Cisco firewall, Fortinet firewall, Juniper SRX firewall, Checkpoint firewall. They all fall under the stateful inspection. Even you talk about the cloud-based firewall, they are all falling under the stateful inspection. There are some exceptions where you want to have a minimum minimal latency, of high transfer of data, or maybe you want to deploy some, some rules on the edge of the network uh, as, as a part of router or something. You can, you can do that by using the stateless firewall. All right. So this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is me, Rajneesh Gupta with Jamin Patak. Bye for now.